This is the portfolio rubric guidance for the reading standard KRL KID 3. With prompting and support, orally identify characters, setting, and major events in a story. And this is for a narrative text. When assessing this standard, you want to be sure that you are using a narrative text. You also want to be assessing the student's ability to identify the characters, the setting, and the events from this narrative text. This narrative text should be a text that you have read many times with your class. It should be very familiar to your students. Typically, this is a text that you are reading in your curriculum throughout the week or over several weeks where the students have been very familiar through read alouds, story webs, making charts, lots of discussions. When you are assessing this standard, keep in mind that a major event are those important things that happened in the text. An event is anything that happened in the story. Major events are when students can talk about the important things that happened either at the beginning, the middle, or at the end. At levels zero through four, students still need prompting and support to answer your questions about this text. For levels five through seven, students can answer your questions independently without prompting and support. For all the levels zero through seven, the teacher is gonna ask questions to determine if the student can tell them the character setting and the events after they have read this familiar text. To identify the character, the student must name the character to be correct. If the character does not have a name, for example, if it's frog and toad, then the name is frog or toad, that's different. But if the character has a name in the text, in order to be correct, the student must say the name of that character. Here in the suggested task are questions you could ask in order to find out if the student knows the characters, the setting, and the major events. You can also ask your own questions. As long as your questions are aligned to identifying the characters, the setting, and the major events, things that happened at the beginning, at the mid, in the middle, or at the end. Prompting and support is not the questions that you ask. Prompting and support is giving the students the opportunity to look through the book while you ask them the questions. They may also need to look at the story webs or the charts that you've used in class while you have done shared reading of this text. Keep in mind, the questions are not the prompting and support. Once students have mastered this standard, you can move into assessing the first grade standard. The first grade standard is similar to the kindergarten standard, but at the first grade level, the student is able to describe the characters. Describing characters is using adjectives. The teacher will ask the students to describe characters in the text. They will also ask students to describe the setting or settings if there's more than one. Keeping in mind, describing is giving adjectives. And finally, the teacher will ask the students to describe what happened in the story, those major events. When students are describing the major events at this level, they are describing the major events in the correct sequence. They tell you what happens first, then what happens next, and then what happens last. In the first grade level, students can use graphic organizers. They are writing these details. They are writing these adjectives to describe characters, setting, and major events. They may draw, but the written details is what is scored. The written details can be on a graphic organizer. The required method of evidence for this standard at the kindergarten level is a video recording. These are oral responses. So all of the questions and the answers the students give must be part of that video recording. This is a verbal assessment. Writing products will not be scored at levels zero through five. This must also be assessed individually. Please be sure when you are making a video recording that you are very clear on the video, the questions that you ask, 
as well as showing the student. So it is clear that the student is the same at both point A and at point B. Once the students have mastered this kindergarten standard to orally identify character setting and major events, and you are ready to move to the first grade standard. Showing evidence for the first grade standard at level six and seven is a writing product. So videos are not used for the first grade standard. You can submit a graphic organizer where the students has described the characters, settings, and the major events, or students can use a writing piece and write what happened at the beginning, at the middle, and at the end. They can write about the characters and the settings. Keep in mind that it is a writing product and the writing product is what is scored. Drawings can be included if students choose to. It's not mandatory, but the drawings are not scored. Videos are not accepted as evidence at level six and seven. Once you have collected your evidence, then you want to look at the rubric. If the student is not able to identify any aspect of the text, if they are completely off topic, even with their prompting and support, that is the score of a level zero. If the student is able to recall some details, remember details are not the major events, they're just things that happened. If they can tell you some things that happened, but they're not able to identify the character, the setting, or any of the major events, that's the score of a level one. If the student can identify orally at least one of the aspects, a character, a setting, or a major event, then that is the score of a level two. For all levels zero through four, they are using that prompting and support. At level three, they can identify two of the aspects. They can identify more than one character, they can identify the setting, and they can identify a major event from either the beginning, the middle, or the end, ending. Again, at level three, they can identify more than one character, the setting, and in a major event from one part of the story, beginning, middle, or end. At level four, the difference is not only can they identify more than one character, the setting, and a major event, but they can identify the major event from two elements, the beginning, middle, or the end. The difference at level five is the students are doing this independently. They answer your questions orally without having any prompting or support, and they are also able to identify more than one character, the setting, and a major event from each of the elements. They can identify a major event from the beginning, the middle, and the end. At level six, we are moving into the writing portion. Again, level six is not a video. Students can independently identify all three of the following. They can identify more than one character from the text, the setting, and the major events in the story. They can recall those major events in sequence from the beginning, the middle, and the end. They do this on a writing product, either a graphic organizer or an individual writing piece. And in those details, they describe one of the following. They may write adjectives for the characters. They may write adjectives for the setting, or they may write adjectives for the details. At level seven, the same as level three, except now they can write adjectives for two of the following. They can write adjectives for either the characters and the setting, the characters and in a major event, the setting or a major event, but you will see the students able to describe write adjectives for at least two of those parts, characters, setting, or major events.